I hope you're ready for a boss fight. Oh boy, I love boss fights. But not after, not until we go through the menu first. Oh no. So we really don't need m many things in the um, weapons. All we really need is the handkerchief. You know, and this, this huh? is a really terrible menu. There's no food on it. Well, there's food down here. Oh shit! And we're gonna ruin take the, the joke. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna take Russian glow cap, glow caps, and our tree frogs too, just cause. And cardboard uh, box. Yes, cardboard box too. So Vulcan is actually really easy. He's also the first boss you can CQC. Wait, you couldn't CQC any of the Cobras? No. That? Hmm. So he doesn't react very well to the handkerchief, but I guess he, I timed it really poorly. Like, this is that would probably have been a good time to handkerchief him. Yeah, he looks just, like he's doing Tai Chi or something. Yeah, j just touching him while he's electrified, um... It'll shock you? But generally, after he does an electric thing, you can just go behind him and like throw him down. Right, right. And you can you can also roll on top of him for a lot of stamina. Yeah, you can. Yeah, this is what happens. But you gotta like be quick to CQC slam him once you handkerchief him. Now, I wonder why. It, I guess it, if it if it worked even when he was electrified, it'd probably be too easy. I don't know what happened there. I was trying to slap him, but I guess I just punched him in the face. I like how he's he's complaining to Ocelot when, like, really he hasn't done anything yet. Well, he wants Ocelot to shoot at me. I like how it looks like he punched me into a roll. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty obvious by the cutscene that, like, clearly Ocelot doesn't really care all that much about Volgan. Yeah. So it kind of seems weird that he's got, like, the you know, conversation. Yeah, wondering. Bit, yeah. Also, I want to point out that if you get shot by Volgan when he shoots you with his electricity, you are going to take uh, some severe damage. So, uh, ma mandatory trip to the cure menu there, I guess. Uh, this fight ends once you drain half his health, stamina, or health. So, um, there you go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shoot him! Do you hear me? I said shoot him! Sorry, Colonel. I'm afraid I can't do that. What do you mean you can't? I made a promise to the boss. Silence! I am your commanding officer. <laughs> like a man, Volgin. Volgin? Emergency. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Ocelot! Find those bombs! Repeat. Explosives have been detected. All non-EOD personnel must evacuate immediately. Move it! For some more snake. Okay, so phase two. Uh, right now, I'm gonna show off something that you could have done in phase one, which is wear the mask. Uh, I like how his mask has one eye closed. That's a really nice touch too. <laughs> but yeah, when you wear the mask, like he'll get, or he'll stop for a second because it's a uh, Rykov's face, and 
Uh, that gets you a couple of seconds for a free shot. But it also makes him super aggressive. Because I don't think he does that drop kick unless you've worn the mask. <laughs> also, when he does this, just lay down and uh, he won't hit you. I like how he had a Psycho Crusher or whatever that movie is called. Yeah. Um, I threw out the frog earlier because I wanted to show that he like jumps back when he sees frogs. But it just... He kind of ignored it. So we're going to throw Mushroom instead. It's not going to do anything right now, but... Just be awake. <laughs> the suspense is killing me. I mean, you've only got two minutes and a half to show this off. <laughs> okay. So this attack normally is just like creates a sweeping wave across the room that's really easy to avoid. But you can just um, throw out a Russian glow clap, glow cap, and it will absorb any electricity. Does it give you two batteries? Um. Or like, how much is a normal? <laughs> all your batteries. Damn. So here's Col here's our new camo from Volgan, Cold War camo. It's a uh, American flag on the back and Soviet flag on the front. It's got a very special effect that we'll sh I'll show very shortly. And I realized that I should be wearing the Soviet Union uh, face camo with this. Yeah, that's really weird that the Russians would be on the front and the U.S. would be on the back. Well, it's Volgan's camo. I, I kind of I'm wondering if maybe that also has to do with the fact that you'd like me go the boss but why i'll tell you later right now we've got to get to the lake and escape we can't leave yet i've still got one last job to do the boss is already at the lake huh she's at the lake she's waiting for you there waiting for me I wouldn't have to tell you. I don't want you to fight her. But I... I've come to realize that there's a special relationship between you two. Something I can't understand. Something that goes beyond a man and a woman. I envy you. Really, I do. I guess I just can't understand it. She asked me to tell you something. I've 
never seen someone with such clear eyes. There. I said it. Ready to go? Yeah. So hey, this is a really cool part coming up, and to, ma to prepare for it, we're gonna get, we're gonna take all the biggest guns we've got. <laughs> uh, so the Scorpion, single action army, those aren't big. Okay, yeah. well, I don't know why I took the single action army, but the Scorpion was because I haven't actually shown it off yet. Oh, uh, okay. You're, this, you're forgiven on that one. This section is best played with the original Snake Eater camera. And why is that? Because you get to see all these cool camera angles and uh. like fantastic camera work. <laughs> I'm also taking stun grenades to show that uh, you can do this bit non-lethally. So oh, okay. uh, every so often, Eva will stop to um, because there's a bunch of guards around. <laughs> also, you'll notice they're not shooting at me. That's where you stun yourself. <laughs> they're not shooting at me because I'm wearing Cold War camo and they're looking at their flag. <laughs> So when you turn away from them, that's when they start shooting you? Yeah, if they, once they see the American flag, uh, it's open season. <laughs> anyway, uh... <laughs> you know, I really can't wait for someone to do the Looney Tunes thing. <laughs> okay. Soviet camo, US camo, Soviet camo. Okay, so, Scorpion, he's got a laser sight. That's all that's interesting about it. I think it might be <laughs> the only SMG in the game, too. Really? The only one? I think, yeah. That seems so weird to me. Yeah, I mean, like, we got two assault rifles and a machine gun, but no S. Like, this is the only SMG. I guess there's not, well, I was gonna say maybe there's not, you know, enough reason for, like, close quarter stuff, but that's not true. Yeah. Anyway, this is the M63. When Snake uses it, he roars! He lets out his battle cry. Also, since we're, we're, since we're on rails, we have infinite ammo. <laughs> now I want to know what Snake's voice and scream would be like if he was in the Shagohan. <laughs> also, uh, RPG, I shot a little too close to Eva there. <laughs> there too. Um, this part... Uh, makes the RPGs kind of a joke because you could just quickly unequip and re-equip them and instantly reload. Yeah, I was I was gonna ask you about that. That seems like really broken. It is a little bit.
That stuff's dangerous, man. Enemy sighted. <laughs> no, and don't shoot at me. I'm, I'm your flag. I, you know, I'm really wishing that they were, like, as soon as they see you, they just, like, stood up and saluted. <laughs> oh, man, that would have been so good. That would have been the best. There, even, there are even saluting animations. Also, I think I accidentally shot a, an explosive barrel. Yeah. That or you got, like, the best headshot ever. Yeah, seriously. Get out of there. <laughs> so, every I so often... I think you nicked him. <laughs> every so often, like, when you're doing those shooting bits, uh, Eva will chime in and either compliment you if you're doing well, or she'll insult you if you're really, really sucking at aiming. <laughs> you know... It's moments like these where the physics of Snake somehow still standing and not being thrown off the motorcycle at all times is kind of glaring. A little bit, yeah. Like, I was just wondering, <laughs> like, how are you not, like, toppling off? <laughs> Every, like, 50 feet. Yeah, like, uh, like in that, uh, boat chase from Man's Uncle? <laughs> Can you tell we've both seen it recently? <laughs> Such a good movie. It is. Sorry, I mean, guy, you probably shouldn't have walked in front of the machine gun. <laughs> I mean, oh, MGS3 yeah. is better than Man from Uncle, but you know, that, that's a no-brainer. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on the runway and we gotta escape, or we gotta deal with motorcycle guys and the Shagohod. Uh, the easy way to deal with the motorcycle guys is just take out the drivers, because then the their vehicle will just spin out of control. No, it's just wear the camo, because they all have to look at you. That too! <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, I just want to, I forgot to mention, but, like, these past few maps on this runway, and, like, on the bike chase, they suck, if you're trying to get, like, all the keratins. Because there are keratins hidden on this map. It, well, every one of these maps, there's a keratin somewhere. So you have to try and hit a keratin from, as a moving, in a moving vehicle. Yes. And, and how would you, uh, I'm just trying to figure out, like, how you would find the keratins in the first place. I don't know. I guess you had to have like a guide or something, because can you imagine getting like to this point and then like missing the keratin? Just like uh, one. I would hate it so much. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that I love, poor guy. I love it when they get thrown from the from the motorcycles. <laughs> but yeah, um, they just I do found, like a nice pirouette. I found the easiest way to get the keratins is to shoot with a rocket launcher. Oh. But okay. even then, even then, it's still really finicky. Because, you know, the rocket launcher does not have a stable trajectory.
Well, I mean, he still has the Philosopher's Legacy. Yeah, but... I mean, we blew up the fuel tanks, which we must assume that they are, like, specialized fuel. Mm, I suppose, yeah. Yeah, so if he had special fuel, then where is he gonna... He probably He's doesn't have the, the plans and all that to synthesize whatever he needs. Beats me. Anyway, um... Did that rocket go underneath it? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, you can actually damage Shagohod if you shoot the right place, but I don't think I can actually get the right angle. Also, every so often, he'll actually shoot missiles, and what you gotta do is you gotta shoot up with uh, any of your machine guns. No, I think uh, I think it's just Snake using his sonic powers. He, he's yelling really loudly. Yeah, it's that's just a, a, that's a thing. Yeah, it's affecting the wiring in the rockets, and they just it's detonate. Yeah. I don't know how you're supposed to avoid getting shot here. Yeah, it seems a little, um, impossible. Yeah, I don't know. Oh no, Eva, no, don't! How do you know if there's incoming, Eva? <laughs> Keep your eyes on the road. I do like the detail that Snake's looking through the um, the scope of his left eye. <laughs> I planted two C3 chargers. Okay, so on diff different difficulties, there are actually more or less C3 chargers. And even though the Shaggle Cat's not here yet, I'm just going to take the first one out right now, because... Because it doesn't matter? Yeah, like, it only matters when the last one's gone, like, when the Shaggle Cat's here. Huh. And you don't have to use the sniper rifle. You could shoot a rocket at it. You should use a single action army. I don't know if that, that'll reach. Ocelot would, it. Ocelot would be proud.
take care of the driving. Yeah? Yeah, I trust you. On one condition, though, leave the fighting to me. You got it. I was getting tired of running away anyway. Eva. Let's do it. For luck.